Hey, hey, everybody. I hope you have had a wonderful National Scrapbook Day weekend. I'm here today to scrapbook an 8.5 by 11 uh, layout using some gorgeous Pam Bray products from Wild Whisper and some other bits and pieces and bobs and scraps and things that I have hanging around here. So as I kind of go through this and kind of show you what I have, what I plan on working with, what I'm going to do with it, uh, I have a couple of updates for you. So National Scrapbook Day was super, super busy for me. Actually, Friday and Saturday both were super, super busy for me. Um, I also decided to um, go ahead and go away for the weekend. I got... Uh, a lovely spot at my very, very favorite scrapbooking craft retreat at Inspiration in Bloom, which is in Oak Harbor, Ohio. And I will leave the link down below if you've never been there. It's the most fabulous scrapping place ever. I decided to go ahead and go this weekend. They have fabulous COVID precautions in place and I felt safe and comfortable the entire weekend, which made me super happy. I could get loads and loads and loads of things done. So uh, update on the layout. I cut this pattern paper down to eight and a half by 11. I'm using the one of the newer uh, Pam Bray Riverbed stamp sets, and I'm going to stamp this, um, stamp set twice with Catherine Pooler Black Jack ink. So I have a lot of videos and a lot of content here that I'm working my way through editing and voicing over and some of them still need photographs. Um, but you should see me back to my normal self this week with loads of videos. I have videos for all of you. I also have loads of videos for my members um, that I just need to get up and I'm going to be working on that this week, primarily. Also working on all the laundry, primarily. Um, <laughs> so you should see lots and lots and lots of fun content coming to my channel. I was just going through all my Catherine Pooler ink because I want to find my blackjack ink. Blackjack ink is a really dark gray, so it's not as harsh as black. And it's probably... Well, it is. It's my favorite. It's my favorite. Um, kind of dark gray ink. So I'm going to stamp this stamp twice using my memory Misty. And I'm going to stamp it once more towards the top and once more towards the bottom. I am using a stamping bug. I know a ton of people ask me about this. So just go to Etsy, Etsy.com in the search bar, type in Stampin, S-T-A-M-P-I-N space B-U-G, and they pop right up for you. I did go ahead and stamp these twice, so I had a really nice, crisp, clean stamped image. And this is the photo I'm going to be scrapbooking today. It's a four by six photo, it's of my son. I'm gonna fussy cut these little blue circles and I'm gonna fussy cut also those cameras. The cameras are from um, a, an older collection from Wild Whisper um, and it's, I know it's probably not available anymore uh, but, and I just have that one little <laughs> off cut scrap left of it uh, which is just enough to be able to fussy cut a couple of those cameras. I am also using, the rest of the papers that I'm using are from Pam Bray's Simplicity Collection. I love her designs so much, so many fun things to kind of fussy cut and play with. I'm working on matting my photo now, so I'm gonna mat it um, twice. I'm gonna use this paper, which is the uh, backside of the paper with all the circles. And then I'm also gonna grab a sheet of card stock, just white card stock, and do a really thin second mat around my photo. I'm also gonna knock over my water cup with my brushes, but it was okay because there wasn't water in the cup. Woo! Once I have my photo placement complete, I'm gonna go ahead and fussy cut these two papers. 
And by the magic of YouTube, you don't have to watch me do that. <laughs> I also used my Kathy Zilski Everett alphabet dye, and I cut all the letters from my title. I know I had a very specific idea for this layout. My title is going to be Born to Chase Moonlight. So you may have noticed that I have a new trimmer. So the retreat house that I go to, they have a huge store. I'm talking like massive, huge store. And if you have been watching my channel recently, you know that my the arm of my Tim Holtz guillotine trimmer that I love has disappeared. Just disappeared. And so uh, Abby, the owner, had some 12-inch paper trimmers in her inventory. It's just a tonic paper trimmer. Apparently this is a new, new, new one. I've never seen it before. She had just gotten them in the day before I came and uh, she's like, I have this one. So I got one from her. It had a really nice pipe price point and so far I haven't had any trouble with it um, being crooked. And it does, it seems to be very nice. It's, it's very, it's not like a heavy duty, like, you know, big mama trimmer. It's just a nice trimmer, which is perfect. So I am deciding where I want to kind of get my, where I want to put my, all of my title. Now I'm going to use a new product. So this is another thing that I kind of got from the, her shop she actually has these on online now i a lot of people have said that they or she said they've been around for a really long time i've never seen them before <laughs> um so i'm gonna link her shop up she does have an on online shop uh where she will ship you products from the store and she's just the nicest, nicest, like sweetest person. So these are called Sticky Specs. And they're from a company called Ecstasy Crafts in Canada. And what it is, is so one package, you get like eight of these pieces of adhesive. And it works a little bit like a Xyron with two really kind of positives in my respect. The first positive being you can use this over and over again. Um, they're larger than a sticker maker. So you can put like, I put like my whole title down here, right? Um, and there's no gummy residue. Like, you know that like gummy residue you get? There's no gummy residue. So that makes me super happy. Um, and I was able to very, very quickly turn all of my fussy cut elements into stickers that I could just peel up and plop down on my page. So if you like to fussy cut, this was kind of like a game changer a little bit just for me. Um, I really, really like them. You'll be seeing me use them lots, lots more. In fact, while I was working with them, I <laughs> texted Abby and I'm like, these are in your shop, right? Because I'm going to link you up because this is the coolest thing ever. But you can see here, I was able to like um, go ahead and kind of put adhesive on all of my fussy cut elements all at once, which was really cool. Um, so there's no gumminess. The other thing is you can reuse this. So you can see I'm using one sheet, just that bottom little bit of the sheet. And I am just getting all of the, everything has sticky. You can reuse it and reuse it. Um, so yeah, new product alert. I'm sorry if I have enabled you, but if you run over to Abby's shop and grab one, make sure to put in the comments, Sarah Scraps sent you. She will know who I am and um, she will send me a message saying, thank you, thank you, thank you, which, you know, she's a sweetheart, so she totally can do that. Um, so that was my National Scrapbook Day weekend. I spent it at a retreat in Ohio, um, safely scrapbooking away and enjoying the weather because it's raining in Pennsylvania, but in Ohio it was like 80 degrees and sunny and beautiful. I went, enjoyed the outdoors. I enjoyed the sunshine a lot. I took a lot of pictures that you guys will be seeing very soon, as soon as I get them printed and stuff. So it was a really, really, really nice, nice 
weekend away. So I used those sticky specks, popped all of my fussy cut pieces down, trimmed off the edges, and now I'm thinking it needs something else, right? So it just, it needs a little bit of sparkle and shine. It also needs some Hickory Smoke Distress Oxide ink. So I have, and here I go again with the sew. Oh, I need that word to just get out of my vocabulary. I'm not quite sure how to go about doing that. I set the layout outside because I went searching for sequins. We needed some sparkle on this page. This page needed sparkle. So after going through all the sequins I brought with me, I decided that a lovely, gorgeous sprinkling of penguin suit sequins would be perfect. So at the time that I am filming this video, they are available in the shop. <laughs> so I will leave all the links down below. So down below, you should find the link to Wild Whisper. Don't forget you can use my code DT Sarah to save 15% on your order. And that also lets Susie and Heather know that I sent you. Um, you can uh, also find the link for Spiegel Mom Scraps. And you will also find a link for those sticky specs. So lots of fun products on this one. Thank you so very much for popping in today. Be sure to leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Um, if you are a member, be on the lookout for videos coming uh, as I get all of my layouts that I created um, during my four-day National Scrapbook Day retreat. And I will talk to you all again very soon. Bye!